Okay. Phasers on. Okay, I made a video yesterday with the gold top with my new strap. So it's a gold strap, gold top. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I was trying to finish up the blackie, the wasp stuff. I told another little story just about me and it, it's just go to yesterday's video. If you even see this, because not even 10 people have watched that one. And I know these are off days. And actually, Monday and Tuesday, YouTube is telling me, because I took their little YouTube class, that Monday and Tuesday are the best day to post videos because people come back to work, they check their video crap, they check their Facebook, they check YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Monday, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. I posted them on Monday morning and Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, nothing. Okay, so you get, and I've gotten three subscriptions. Three. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have said anything on that trip. I mean, if people are that sensitive about political crap, get over it. And I don't want this channel to be about political anything. I want it to be about guitars, music, and music history, basically. My history, your history. I'd like to hear stories from you guys. Dude, I met Randy. I met these people that you're asking me about. Stephen Piercy. Do you have any stories about Stephen Piercy? One, that I met him at the drag races. Me and my dad were at the drags. This is like 20 years ago. And we were at Don Perdome, the snake. You know, Snake and Mongoose, I don't know if anybody remembers. The Snake's Pit, where his cars were, and we're watching him warm up the uh, top fuel car. And I see my dad talking to this really haggard old dude with <laughs> long hair. And I'm like, oh, it's Stephen Piercy. Because he's involved, he's friends with a couple of drivers. And one guy I used to work with, I can't remember his name, but he quit this the uh, entertainment, you know, film industry. He made a few documentaries about drag racing. He used my dad's footage in it. Very cool. Gave him credit. Got a little bit of money coming in for Pop. Uh, it's a story of Lions Drag Strip. Anyway, so, I'm down at Pomona with my dad, and he's talking to Stephen Piercy, and then he's like, that guy, you know, he's, uh, says he was in a band. And, uh, I've never heard of it. I go, yeah, I know. His, he was the singer for Rat. Because at that time, there was no Rat. He was playing with his solo band with my old drummer, uh, Joaquin, uh, whatever his last name was. Joaquin something. But whatever Joaquin uh, drummer in Stephen Piercy's band, that was my old drummer from the Blizzard. Of, or Blizzard. It was the name of my tribute band. We started playing in 91. First show was March 92. Then we played a bunch of shows. Then we played in December. And we got, you know, we played, went down to Gazzari's. We played there a few times. We got a star in Gazzari's. Everybody's like, dude, we had a star. Fatal Attraction had a star for selling out Gazzari's. But then they took the star down when we got blood in their and Gazzari's Bill's monitors. Then I played there with Blizzard. I've been banned there from Trick or Treat because my drummer peed on Bill Gazzari's leg. Because so we're waiting to talk to Bill. We just saw Peter Chris play with his horrifying band, Chris. And I think it was a girl singer. And Bill's talking to Peter. And no one's even going up to Peter Chris. I'm looking at him like, wow, that's Peter Chris from Kiss. Who cares? And I kept telling my drummer, just wait and then we'll talk to him. He goes, well, I got to pee. I go, well, then go pee. 
So he goes up and around. This is the parking lot. If anybody remembers the parking lot right next to the Gazaris. And my drummer walks around and he's peeing on the wall. And then he looks at me and smiles and he turns and starts peeing on Bill's leg. And Bill's like, you know, I don't know if I can have you because Peter Chris did not do well at Gazaris. He didn't get a star. And my drummer peed on Bill's leg to get his attention. What the hell's wrong with you, stupid kid? Wham! Smacked him in the face. He goes, what band are you in? He goes, trick or treat. He goes, you guys are banned. I go, we haven't even had a chance to play. Ah, who cares? This already sucks. So, trick or treat got banned before we even played there. And then Fatal Attraction played there. Got blood in the monitors. Banned from that. Again. Then I came back in Blizzard and played there again and got Blizzard Star up there. But we did good and they did a really good, uh, they were really into it because no one was doing a Randy Rhodes tribute. I was the first, the official first. If you, <laughs> Mrs. Rhodes was still here, she, I said, this is what we're going to do. Is it cool? She goes, yes, absolutely. And I gave her the first flyer, the first show. I think she went to one of them up in uh i don't know i'm like i can't remember for sure it's there was a lot of crap going on but we played in that band 92 93 94 95 and 96 i stopped because i was just done and it was getting really big and we were headlining with you know cold gin and all that and it was just getting too much i don't know out of time so i'm just going to start playing so go back and check out the video from yesterday with the gold top. I'll put in uh, talk about wasp or something. Wasp story. I'll add in the title. Because not hardly anybody's watched the damn thing. And no comments. Come on, man. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. I want to play that just as bad as you want to hear it. And I haven't heard the whole thing. I only heard a couple minutes, and then I got scared because it started to get garbly, and I thought I was eating the tape up. That's why I had the guy bake it and do all the stuff. Okay, ready? Stop. Go. Ready? Bye. Sit, get, stand up. Sit down. Shut up.
Oh, my God.